Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit of the WoW Podcast, Blue Please, on CynicalBrit.com. Firelance time into the Daily Hub, but first, this is the quest that you get after gathering 20 Marks of the World Tree, which will take you five days of Firelands dailies. You are sent to encounter a druid named Lalira, and she is the druid that killed a bunch of Hamel's apprentices as well as Guardians of Hygel. In the first attempt to open a portal and gain access to the Firelands, Hamel Rune Totem comes along and unfortunate events are about to occur, folks. If you don't like spoilers, well, why the hell are you watching this video? That's 193,000 damage wrath. That's pretty damn powerful. Unfortunately for Hamel Rune Totem, he seems to have come across a magic that he is new to. These are searing roots or something along those lines. And yes, the Tauren gets barbecued. Delicious. And really grim, actually, all things considered. That is actually kind of grim. But there you go. He is roasted. Nothing left of him. And off she flies as a fire phoenix. Well, I hope you didn't like that Major Lore character, because he's gone now, wiped out in a 60-second sequence, whereby you were able to do precisely Jack to actually help him. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate indeed. Okay, you got to head on back now, so we'll just skip the flight, and this will give you the intro to the Firelands. You'll be sent through the portal this time properly, and you will gain access to the Firelands Molten Front Daily Quest Hub. Oh, and I do hope you like being blamed for everything on the planet. It's like, apparently this is our fault for deviating from the plan, not the fact that there's an incredibly powerful Druid of the Flame incinerating major lore characters, and there's nothing I can do about it. Ugh. Bloody Tauren. Never trust them. They're always so upset about everything. Right. There you go. That is the quest. You gain 15 marks of the world tree for going through there, and Malfurion will inexplicably be there before you. I don't know how he does it, but he is in fact there. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, honestly. <laughs> I'm very surprised they didn't just put another character there and say, Oh, Malfurion's already gone into the portal. You come follow him in. That's something they could perhaps change. And here we go. Now, the first phase broke, so I've just skipped through to another piece of video footage where the phase actually works. And there's a couple of minor lore characters hanging around this particular area. She seems awfully depressed, if I'm totally honest. She used to be a happy-go-lucky kind of dryad. And then you've got this constant battle going on right here, which may remind you just a little bit of the entrance to the Outlands, in fact, with those wave after wave of evil, evil demons coming in your direction. strength. Now, my fury and storm rage hangs around in this area, which I can only presume is going to grow into a big tree, since it is actually referred to as a tree. Not much of a tree, admittedly. There's a few roots going on down there. Growing a tree in this area is going to be a little bit tricky, if I'm honest. I wonder what they'll use as fertilizer. Perhaps the remains of Hamal Rune Totem. What, too soon? We've also got two quests right here, and this indicates the length of this particular zone. You've got these two, which require to obtain 150 marks of the world tree int. That is a lot! That is a lot of marks, folks. So, the question is, how many marks is that in comparison to the number that you get? So, I did a little bit of calculation on this. Now, assuming that the Hygel dailies are also accessible after you get into the Firelands initially, you will be able to gather a grand total, assuming there's no deviation or opportunities to get bonus marks, 12 marks of the World Tree every day. That's 8 from the Firelands. You get access to 4 dailies for the time being and then another four from outside. From what I've seen for the moment, the reputation link for this is to the Guardians of Hygel, which some of you will already have at Exalted, no doubt, so you don't seem to gain any benefit from that. As regards to how long this is going to take you in order to gain access to the next part of the phase, you are looking at 12 days per 150 of those. So, if we think about it for a second, we've got 15 from entering, so it will take 12 days if you're getting 12 marks per day, and then it's going to take, I believe, probably 14 days, I think it's 13 and a bit, in order to get the next one. So that's your grand total, folks, 25 days of constant daily questing, ensuring that you're doing the three quests outside in Hygel and the four quests inside the Firelands. Bear in mind that these values are subject to change, but that 25-day period of what is basically gating should indicate how long they would like this area to last. That's quite a lot of gating, folks. It's going to take an awful lot of time for people to get that sorted out. And of course, if you end up missing any days, then you're in real trouble. Now, there are supposedly 
quite a lot of different daily quests. You will only gain certain quests every day and it will be randomly generated. Now, I had a bad luck with the Hygel area. For instance, four days in a row I got the same thing, Rage Against the Flames and Call of the Flock. Now, there are other people that were doing quests, including, of course, Jesse Cox. But that's the nature of random questing, folks. You can occasionally get the same thing four times in a row, which is incredibly frustrating, and I would ask them maybe to wait it so that maybe if you get the same set twice in a row, it will deliberately stop you from getting those again. It would be nice to see a little bit more variety. It turns the dailies into a rather laborious grind fest. Now, speaking of laborious grind fest, the amount of time that this is going to take could indicate to some that it will be very much a grind. Now, I don't know if on the live server I'll even bother doing this. I suppose it really depends on the rewards. Once I've done the daily quest several times, they're going to cease to be fun. So, what we've got right here is we have a generic kill quest, which can easily be done while doing the rest of them. Now, bear in mind that you can pick off low health mobs here, so this is really simple to do. Just make sure you get a hit on an untagged mob, and there you go. I can only imagine that once you get to the fifth day on the live servers, this place is going to be absolute, complete, and total bedlam. So it's going to be very hard to pick off mobs without getting them sniped by others and tagged. I would recommend that you do it in a group to maximize your chances. Bear in mind, you can very easily go further into this area and pull mobs as they spawn from the portal, although you will not gain the benefit of the friendly mobs in the process. You've got the quest Burn Victims right here, which requires you to heal a number of wounded Hyjal defenders. Now, the quest text actually mentions the idea of healing and bandages. Now, I don't know if you can just heal them. There is a possibility. It does mention that in the quest, although maybe it was just a bit of fluff as opposed to an actual instruction. It also mentions that you can bandage them, although I don't know why you would waste bandages when you can just use the salve that you are given, so that's not really an issue. I'll look around, you've got a few uh, lava bursters around here, which use the same model as Magmor, if I could recall correctly. And the last quest that I got, aside from the Kill X Druids of the Flame quest, which is not even in the game yet, and as you saw earlier, I handed it in immediately and got the credit for it. The last quest is the Wisp quest. Now you have to take the Wisp over to a fire portal and use it to close it. However, I managed to lose the Wisp, which is a little bit irritating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip forward, get a new Wisp, and we'll go and close one of these fire portals. And it's basically a defense and attack wave quest. Now, what's going to spawn out of these portals, which are kind of hard to see, honestly, but you should be able to follow the trail of the mobs spawning in to find them. If you have your particle effects on low, this might be a little bit hard to spot. But on maximum, there you see the shape of a gate. It's not a particularly pronounced gate. They'll probably expand that. So you're going to get a wave of fire imps, which are very easy to kill. You just use AoE, and they die very quickly. There's barely any HP on them whatsoever. You'll then spawn a fire elemental, and then one of those more powerful fire revenants. And it gets a little bit hairy towards the end, because they will spawn quite a lot of mobs on you. So pop some cooldowns, use some crowd control. If you have it, just slow some guys down. Nuke them down, and that pretty much is it. I don't believe they actively attack the wizard as long as you are keeping aggro on them. The Wisp doesn't appear to generate any real aggro as far as I can tell. Whatever the case, just keep beating on them. You shouldn't have any problems there whatsoever. And then the Fiery Revenant will explode out of there, and that actually counts as a close. So if you want, and you're having problems dealing with this many mobs, just leg it. Uh, use any escape method you happen to have. You don't have to fight these guys. You saw the credit actually happened as the portal closed. It will immediately reopen behind you once you've fought these mobs off, which... Makes it feel a tad pointless, but hey, there you go. Such are the rigors of being a daily quester. And that's pretty much that, folks. And I will bring you some more daily questing content over the next few days. And if there are any changes in the phase, you'll get to see those as well. It's not exactly my most popular content, is it? I don't really blame people. For God's sake, it's bloody dailies. Nobody wants to watch dailies, but I would like to do it for the sake of completeness anyway. And just to make sure, you know, there might be something interesting here in the Firelands, here's hoping. My name is Total Biscuit, and I will see you next time.